Hello, everybody. I hope you all had a wonderful and blessed Easter. It was a little different this year, and I know there's some things I really missed, like our egg hunt, and like seeing you on Sunday morning at church, all dressed up and so excited to be there with your families. But I also found that I like some new things that we did this year. One of the things that we really enjoy are all of the beautiful cards and drawings that all of you have been sending to us for us to share with the people at Bridgeport Hospital. Our volunteers, the doctors, the nurses, the essential workers, but also all of the patients and those who are sick and ill and recovering in the hospital. So thank you all for doing that for us. It has been great fun. And now, Alita is going to share a really special Bible story with you today about Jesus. Hey everyone, do you see where I am? I'm in the kitchen at the church house. And the reason I'm in the kitchen to tell this story is because this story is about a meal. It's actually about a breakfast. That's why I love telling the story because I love eating breakfast food. This is a story about Jesus making breakfast. Seriously. So let me tell you. This story takes place on that very first Easter day a long time ago. Now, you know how the Easter story goes. Everyone thought that Jesus was gone forever. And then on Easter, all his friends found out that he was still alive. He was still with them. And it was the most amazing, happy day of their life. But not everybody had heard the news. Lots of Jesus' friends knew he was alive and he was back, but some of them hadn't heard about it yet. So Jesus was walking around trying to find his friends to make sure that they knew he was back. And he went down to the beach and the big lake that was near there, and he saw some of his friends out on a boat fishing. Now they were having a little trouble fishing, to be honest. So he yelled out to them, hey, why don't you try putting your fishing nets on the other side of the boat? Kind of a crazy thing to say, but it worked. They moved their nets and they caught lots of fish and they thought, who is this guy on the beach who gave us such good advice? And they looked and they saw that it was Jesus and they were so excited. It says that a bunch of them jumped out of the boat and they swam to the beach. Now that's a great story right there, but here's the part I really like. When they got to the beach, here's what they found. They found that Jesus was making breakfast for them. What a nice thing to do. Now, I don't know if he was making pancakes, but I love pancakes, so when I tell the story, it's with pancakes. Jesus was on the beach waiting for his friends to come back from their fishing, and he had a breakfast ready for them. This looks really good. Let me get my syrup. Mm. Oh, yeah. So Jesus served up breakfast to all his disciples that morning. And they all sat around and enjoyed maybe pancakes. Who knows? But it was delicious. And then Jesus said to his disciples, he said this, he said, I want you to take care of other people just the same way that I've taken care of you. I want you to feed hungry people just like I fed you this morning. All the things that I've taught you to do, I want you to do them now for other people. So that is the story of Jesus and the delicious breakfast on the beach. Mm-mm-mm. Yum. <laughs> 